This short presentation is about considering your retirement options. Hi, if you are like me that you are getting to the age that work is no longer your joy or that you want to realize more from what may remain for your life. The normal age of retirement is whenever you like and feel like. In the USA, people may retire and get some benefits from age 55, but usually not much until age 60, and some retirement pension from Social Security at 62, Medicare medical coverage from age 65, full Social Security pension after age 67, and have to take required minimum distributions from any regular IRRAs or 401ks by age 73. Perhaps you are employed where there is still a defined pension benefit, so when that is available may determine when you retire. The decision to retire or change a work situation so to focus on enjoying the golden years or needing to pull back from activities to protect or align to emergent age-related health issues should be taken when you have all the facts. You may need help and talk with a benefits advisor from your corporate 401k or your financial institution. So getting old sucks, and I never enjoyed spreadsheets, budgeting and planning. I just like to spend on what I liked, knowing, or rather, believing, that I would be earning more in the future. You know I always told everybody to watch their money. So income sources will definitely change. You need to be able to count that income, and also manage it so that you could minimize your tax liabilities, for example, if you had a rental property and sold it, wait until your total income is at its lowest, then the capital gains and deferred depreciation recovery would not be such a bad shock. The essentials of life is to have a place to live and do what makes you happy. Do you continue to rent? Have you paid off a mortgage? Can you downsize or move in with relatives? And what lifestyle do you want to lead? Do you want to travel or indulge in hobbies and passions or just relax or take up some voluntary work or learn new skills? A place to live may have already been accomplished, as you may have been fortunate to find your forever home, have no debt or no issues with neighbors, and everything is comfortable. Congratulations, you have won that round. If not, a lot of people think that retiring on or near a beach or a lake is an idyllic and quiet way to enjoy life with nature and things that you enjoy. But a beach location in Florida may be problematic during hurricane season. A lakefront that is peaceful now may be mayhem during spring break, or there is some industrial plant planned nearby or a development that may impinge on your enjoyment. A city or large town downtown may be vibrant and exciting, with plenty of things to do or a lot to experience nearby, but there may be more property crime or violent crime to deal with. Also, the location may not have to be in the United States, even. The lifestyle you wish to live is important and that should be based on the balanced budget that you arrive at after counting the income sources and the expenditure needs and how you can control it. This will determine if you can afford the lifestyle that you would like or what you may need to compromise on. A quiet and calm slower pace of life is often preferred, but do not slow down so much that your health is impacted. Keeping active physically and mentally is one of the main pillars of a healthy and happy retirement. Five pillars should be considered and planned for. May you work part-time. Would you like to travel a lot? In luxury or on a cruise ship or camping or in a recreational vehicle? Have you a clear plan to align with your budget and assure your future needs could be met? Have you made wills or living wills? All this should be considered. On the following slide is an example of what you may need to do to address your budget. Total assets include all the investments and large items that you own or have equity in, including any real estate property, vehicles, high-value items, and investments or savings. Your net worth is how much is left over after taking out the loans, debts, and other obligations you may have. In this example, the outstanding balance of a mortgage and car loan was a quarter of a million. The potential income includes any pensions, such as Social Security that you qualify for, any rental income or income from investments or savings that you plan to withdraw or take distributions. There will be a tax and deductions implication, and you may elect to make an estimated payment every quarter or have a large bill and potentially additional fees. The recurring monthly expenditure is a possible budget. 
there are cheaper options, such as Medicare Advantage plans that may work.